Looking at our world from a theological perspective, this is the Theology Central Podcast, making Theology Central. Stop, 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 stop. I need everyone's attention. I need every, stop what you're doing. If you're driving a car, pull over. I need you to pull up, pull over. Okay, pull over. No, 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 no. Put, put the coffee cup down. No, everyone stop what you're doing. I need you to pay attention because time is, is running out. This is an urgent an urgent message. This is an urgent message. Time is running out. You need to do something right now. You need to grab your debit card. You need to grab a credit card. You need to grab a check because some people need some money right now. It is urgent. Time is running out. They need $395,000. The time is running out. You've got to act now. What what would you do if I if I turned on as a, if you listen to a podcast? What what would you do if you turned tuned into a podcast, downloaded a podcast, started streaming a podcast, or a live broadcast, right from a ministry? And and I started that way, going, ladies and gentlemen, stop what you're doing. We need you right now to act. Time is running out. We need three hundred ninety five thousand dollars right now. Grab that debit card. Grab that credit card. Go uh, go to hit the donate tab right now and and give us some money. What, what how would, would would it bother you A- in any way, shape, or form? Or or are you just you you wouldn't care? It would bother me. And it bothers me constantly when ministries do this type of thing. And the reason we're talking about it is, well, let's let's go how this entire story originated. Because you'll notice if you depending on where you're listening to me right now, this is part three. This this journey started way back on June the 10th, 2022. So June that we're in June today is June the 30th, 2022. It is now currently 1024 a.m. I am broadcasting to you live from Abilene, Texas. But it today is June the 30th. Back on June the 10th, 2022, I received an email from Moody Church Media. Moody Church Media, Pastor Erwin Lutzer. His program is running to win. And I was told that they need, urgently needed $395,000 by today. They needed $395,000 by today. And we looked at the email. We looked at some of the, the techniques they were using in order to try to get people to give. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to move on, going to move on with my life. And then on June the 16th, remember today is June the 30th. On June the 16th, 2022, I received another email still telling me they needed $395,000. They didn't even bother on June the 16th to go, hey guys, we thank you. We've raised $200,000 so far. So we just need a little bit more to go. No, there was no update. There was no indication of how much money they'd already received. They still needed $395,000, almost implying that they had not received a cent. I'm not saying that this is what they were claiming, but implied, hey, we still need $395,000. Well, if you're asking for money on what, what, back on June the 10th, and now it's June the, the 16th was June the 10th was the first one. No, hang on. The first one was, I got to go back. Yeah, June the 10th. On June the 10th, you're asking me for um, $395,000. Then on June the 16th, you're still asking for $395,000. That would seem to indicate you, you didn't receive any money. And well, then just a little while ago, right, right when my last live broadcast was ending, right when it was ending, I get this email literally. Well, I think I was still on the air when, when the notification came in, I get an email. It has a timer, right? You open it up and it's a timer. It's 13 hours, 31 minutes and 47 seconds. You've got to do something now. And the title of the email was time is running out exclamation mark. Time is running out. It's from Pastor Erwin Lutzer, Moody Church Media. Your support for the gospel matters now more than ever. Hey, if you really support the gospel, you're going to get that debit card out. You're going to get that credit card out. And you're going to give money to Moody Church Media if you care about the gospel. I, I, I told you I was going to pro- I told you I was going to get another email before the time. I thought I would, I, this is what I figured was going to happen. I thought I would get an email 
maybe tomorrow or next week saying, hey, thank you so very much. We raised $395,000 or we raised $500,000, but no, 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 no. We're going to get one urge more last second urgent uh, uh, apply with a timer here to make it even look more, to make it even look more like you've got to act right now. So they've got an actual digital timer here counting it down. It's just, it's just ridiculous. Well, okay, but here we go. Your support for the gospel matters now more than ever. And remember, I said this. Look, if, if someone from Moody Church Media hears this and you get offended, stop sending me your email, okay? If you don't want me talking about it, stop sending it to me. I sure in the world didn't sign up for you to send me your emails asking me for money every time I turn around. And I've been bombarded over the last 24 hours with ministries asking me for money. I've been asked for 500,000. I, I don't even know. any. I've lost track of all the numbers that have been thrown at me. But every ministry is like, we need money. We need money. We need money. And, and again, I'm not saying it's wrong to ask for money. It's the way these emails are written. And just it's there's just so much about these things. But here's the one we've received today. All right, here we go. The time is passing quickly. And we need you to help reach the June goal. This is just their goal for the month of June. This doesn't say, this is not even to help us reach our year-end goal, to reach our 2022 goal. No, they need $395,000 just to reach their June goal. And I'm, I'm, I, I, mm, there's so many questions here, but let, let's, let's go through this. The deadline is midnight. So I'm sure you can understand my sense of urgency and asking for your generous support today. For the work of the gospel, please know, for the work of the gospel, the message we proclaim has never been more relevant and or more desperately needed. Oh, it's so desperately needed. Well, if it's so desperately needed, instead of sending me emails, I don't know, grab a microphone, grab a computer, go live and preach it. And that's why Moody Church Media is so needed now because of friends and partners like you. What do you mean friends and partners like me? I'm not your friend okay, and I'm definitely not your partner because I've not sent you a dime, but okay, all right. We broadcast hope and truth from God's word into the lives of hundreds of thousands across our troubled and hurting nation. Well, that's great that you broadcast your, your message across you know, the nation. I just... And I'm having a hard time understanding why you need $395,000 to accomplish that task. But, but okay, right? And yet, the need for sound biblical teaching has never been greater, especially now with the severe challenges our nation is facing. For this reason, I'm asking you to help us support the ministry as we enter the slow summer months of July and August. We must, we must raise $395,000 by midnight on June 30th to reach the goal. You're, now, please note, they still need $395,000. So we've gone from June the 10th to June the 30th, and they're still asking for the exact same amount with no saying, hey, guys, we, we're almost there. We just need another 10000 We just need another 20000 No, no, no. We still need 395000 So you've not received one dime? If your goal was 395000 and that's what you need, that's like you have to have it, well, then you should be giving people updates so that people are not sending you more than 395000 right? Because you just need 395000 I mean, the preaching of the gospel is dependent upon it. I mean, yeah, you're, you're going to get as every cent you can far above your goal. And then you'll turn right back around and ask for more. I, it'll be it'll be interesting to see if I start receiving emails as soon as July starts, but we'll see. We'll, I'll keep you posted. All right, here we go. Um, for this reason, I'm asking you for your help and support uh, the ministry as we enter the slow summer months of July and August. We must raise, we must raise, there's that, that urgency again, $395,000 by midnight on June 30th to reach the goal. Your generosity helps us finish June in a strong financial position and prepares us to reach new languages and the next generation in the year ahead. So please partner with us and make the best gift now. Thank you in Christ. P.S. The deadline is midnight today. We need to hear from you to reach our critical summer financial goal and continue this strong voice for the 
gospel. And then there's a big red button that says give now. And here it is. And this critical moment for America. And this critical moment for America, the need for sound biblical teaching has never been greater. And well, there you go. You can, uh, you can, uh, well, give them money. You can give them $25, $50, $100, $250, $500. Now, I'm going to do something here. Um, I'm just curious. Okay, so uh, I, I'm just I'm I'm following their website. I'm I'm just looking at something here because because you know hey, hey everybody needs to hear the gospel. We're here we're here to minister to you. We're here to do whatever we can. All right. So I, I'm looking here. Okay. Well, they do have at least that's good. They do have some uh, or at least it appears. I'm, I'm just looking here. <laughs> That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Okay. Now, remember, okay, they're, they need $395,000 so that they can continue to reach people with the gospel and reach people with important content. And then immediately you go to their website. Oh, here's a store. So if, if I want to learn about the power of a clear conscience, that'll cost me $11. If I want to hear about the church in Babylon, that will cost me $13. If I want to hear about what happens to me one minute after I die, that will cost me $20.69. If I want to learn, if I want to learn about God's devil, some teaching, that will cost me $29.95. If I want to talk about the key, the second coming, that's going to cost me $30. $34.95. If I want to hear about the Reformation, that's going to cost me $5. If I, oh, that's a booklet. Uh, Great Cities of the Bible, $5. It, uh, so in other words, if I want study guides, if I want, oh, if I want a single sermon, one sermon, I want you to hear this, one sermon called God, the Supreme Court, and the Unthinkable will cost me $9. to hear one single sermon. A time for tears. Where do we go from here? Oh, if you're grieving, they've got a sermon about what do you do when you're, when you're grieving. Well, that'll only cost you $8.95. If you want to hear about God being in the garden, that will cost you $6.95. The audacity for them to ask for $395,000 and then turn around and then charge people to hear us to, to get a sermon, to charge people to get a study guide. I, I'm, I grow so tired of the entire evangelical industrial complex where it's just a scam. It's a sham. It's just a business. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a scheme. It's just, it's just, it, it, everything is fraudulent about it. Oh man, the country is in bad shape. People need to hear the word of God. You, we need $395,000. You've got to send us money. Oh, but if you need any of our resources, you got to give us money. So give us money and then buy the resources because these resources are going to be the things that's going to help you spiritually. I'm so tired of it. This entire, the entire Christian industrial complex needs to implode and collapse on itself and turn into nothing more than a pile of ashes. It all needs to go away. I'm so tired of that. You ask for money, you ask for money, you ask for money, and then you put your resources behind paywalls. Now, I'm not saying every one of their resources is behind paywalls, but it did not take me long to find a store where they're charging money for nine, almost $9 for a single sermon. That is ridiculous. That is ungodly. I've been posting sermons, I, again, oh, and it has nothing to do with me. There's hundreds, thousands of ministries that have been posting their sermons online for free forever but see they don't have they don't have celebrity if once once they get popular enough boom and then you can be selling your sermons and now you're selling the preaching of God's word at wall at the same time asking me for for three hundred ninety five thousand dollars it, it's I, like the absurdity of this is just ridiculous so I'm gonna ask the question again. I'm going to continue to ask this question. And, and I just had to give you the update. We did part one. We did part two. 
And now this is part three, right? And I and I apologize at the beginning where I, I said, I, I think I said urgent and I ended up, ur, ur, I don't even, I said it incorrectly. I don't even know why. All right. But yeah, I'm bothered here. I'm bothered. And I hope you understand why I'm bothered, right? I, I, my original goal was just to try to have a little fun with this, right? Kind of make a little joke of it and just say, hey, guys, remember that, you know, Moody Church Media asking for $395,000. Well, they're still asking for it. Ha, 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 ha. Okay. But now, but this, I go from laughing to wanting to just scream because it just bothers me. It just bothers me because I know what it takes to produce content. I Look, I understand it's work. I understand it's time. I do understand it's money. I Look, I'm very aware that it takes money to get ministry online and to get ministry out there. I'm aware. I know what it takes to be on radio. I, I, I was on Christian radio before I got booted off for calling things like this into question and criticizing it. So I understand some of this, how it works. So I do understand it requires a little bit of money. I understand that. But I have to pose this question because I, I, I because I wanted to at least look at all of this from a different perspective. I have to ask it, and I know this comes across as pragmatic, and I know it comes across as fleshly, but I'm going to ask it anyway. The money given to ministries. This I'm going to even bring this up to the local about local churches, which really makes people unnervous, uh, nervous. But I'm going to bring it up anyway. When you think of the money that is given to a church or given to ministries, whether they're a podcast, whether they're a radio ministry, I want you to ask, what are you getting for the money that is being given? And I'm not even speaking of you as an individual. I'm just asking for all the money that's required for these operations to work. Right? They have these headquarters. They have they have a call center. They have all of the they have marketing, they have all of these people hired, they have all of these jobs. What are you actually getting for the money you're giving? So if I give $100 today to Moody Church Media, what am I getting from that? What, 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 what ministry, what ministry is being, how much of that $100 goes to actual producing of ministerial content that's not behind a paywall, right? Versus how much of that money just goes to continue to maintain the machine, the industry, the business, the, the, all of that. Wh- wh- how much ministry, like uh, does a hundred dollars produce basically a penny's worth of actual ministerial content that's not behind a paywall? Because er, Pastor Erwin Lutzer, he produces running to win. All it is is an edited sermon from the church, the sermons he preaches at Moody Church. It's just edited sermons. And it's like 15, I think I think there's a 15-minute ep- uh, edition and like a 20-minute edition you can't subscribe to. And it only comes out once a day. So you're, you're giving them money for a 15 or 20 minute program where a part of it is, is usually, you know, a commercial of some product they're, they're selling either the beginning or the end. And with product, in other words, ministerial, uh, again, content that they produce that they're putting again behind a paywall. I, what what are you getting for the money given? I, I just, even, it, it's just, even with local churches, how much money goes in just to support the building, the, the staff versus how much ministry is actually being produced. You think about it, uh, even a good church, like a, a very good church, most of them only produce ministry equaling one hour for Sunday school. And that's usually not even a full hour in some churches, yeah, it, it's, you know, 40 minutes of actual teaching. The sermon, maybe, maybe if you're in a good church, 45 minute sermon. So, so you may, you, maybe you come close to getting two hours on a Sunday morning. Some churches don't even have a Sunday night service. Some churches don't even have a Wednesday night service. So you're giving money to, uh, to maintain a church and maintain the salary uh, and, and, and maintain all of the infrastructure for what, two hours of teaching a week? What? Now, I know you're going to say, well, that's flat. You're looking at it the wrong way. No, I'm not. The money, if the money is supporting ministry, then ministry should be being produced. And I think it should be as much ministry as possible. Well, 
I, I think there's got to be a new way of looking at it. We're, we're giving all of this money to so many different ministries, and what are they giving you? I, I, I'm gonna, I won't even try to point to myself here versus uh, uh, with all the content that I produce. Okay, I won't even look at. You can just ignore me because people say, "Well, that's self-serving." I understand that. So forget me. Just look at one, one. Just look at the. Just download the Sermons 2.0 app. The Sermons 2.0 app. You could not listen to all of the content on that app. In an entire lifetime, you could spend hours a day and not get through all the Bible teaching, the theological discussions, commentary. You couldn't get through all all of it if you spent a lifetime and all of it's absolutely free for you to listen to. Now, yes, every ministry on Sermons 2.0 app is paying $50 a month to be on the app. I understand that. But $50 a month to give you a platform where you can produce place all of your content you it's all archived on demand you can you can create an rss feed so you can get get that content out almost like a podcast hosting site on all the podcasting apps oh by the way they also give you the church one app that you can use and oh by the way you can live broadcast so that ministry would cost them $50. Now, you say, okay, the ministry requires $50 a month to be able to do this. All right, let's say you throw in the equipment. Let's say they get really good equipment. Let's say they get a MacBook Air, a good microphone, maybe even uh, develop a room. Let's say they can they can pull off everything, everything. Let's say just all the, the equipment that they would need. I'm going to go, I'm going to go high. Let's say $5,000 that they have everything they need. 5,000. So that's a one time, that would be a one time fundraiser of $5,000 to have all the equipment. You can do it for much less. I don't have a MacBook Air. I don't have a MacBook. I got a broken down Dell computer and a $100 microphone. All right. That is sitting on a stack of books. So you can do it for cheaper, but just say $5,000, you are really going upper end on some of this, okay? So $50 a month, $5,000. Now, let's just say the person wants to try to make, you know, try to live off all of the, all the ministry they're producing, all right? Let's say they're trying to produce it. Well, can you imagine if, if, that, if, the, if that person received $395,000? Would that that would support them? Well, I would hope for a while, right? I hope it would support them for a while. But let's just say the person needs. Um, let's say if he if he's lucky, he he gets. Let's just say twenty four thousand. Let's just say twenty four thousand dollars for a year. Let's just say twenty four thousand dollars for a year. Okay, now. If that would be twenty four, so five, five, the five thousand would just be a one time thing. So five thousand one time thing. So it'd be, it would be. Let's just say, let's go twenty six thousand dollars a year. Twenty six thousand dollars a year. Twenty six thousand dollars a year, and a person could then. And I, I bet for that twenty six thousand dollars a year, if if someone was able to get twenty six thousand dollars a year, I guarantee you that they could produce just using just using uh Sermons 2.0 and the Church One app just for $26,000 a year they could produce I guarantee I know I could for $26,000 a year I could I could produce 10 times 100 times the ministerial content uh, that church media that M- Moody Church Media produces and they're asking for $395,000 just for the month of June I could, I could, I could five hundred percent create five hundred percent more content than they could. So for one for one ministry, twenty six thousand dollars a year, that would be a lot of money. But they could do a lot of they could produce a lot of ministerial content, and and that's just going on the higher upper end, supporting not only the ministry but even supporting the one doing the teaching. But Moody, Moody Church made three hundred ninety-five thousand dollars. What? How much media? How much uh, ministry is going to be produced there? And again, I have to go back to even local churches. Sometimes I'm blown away that of, of the local church, the pastor. You look at their at their salary, and you're like, okay, what? What? When I was a Lutheran, I was baffled by it. The pastor was a full time pastor, full time Lutheran pastor. The, the entire ministerial content that he produced in a week was basically a Sunday school lesson, 
right? And in some cases, you didn't even go to his Sunday school lesson. You, you were somewhere else, but okay, maybe a Sunday school lesson and then a sermon that was probably about 25 minutes long. And that was it. They said, well, there was, there was the sacraments and other things. Okay, I understand that. But I'm just saying, you look at the salary to pay him a full-time salary. There, he had a parsonage, full-time salary. The upkeep of the church. And all I got was a Sunday school lesson and a, su- a sermon on Sunday morning. Wow, what a great investment. What a great investment. I, I'm going to continue to raise that question. You just look at what can you look at what can be supported, which would be hours and hours and hours and hours of ministerial content versus what is supported for a minimum of ministerial content. Nobody ever goes, this doesn't make, make any sense. And I know I've brought this up in every single part, but I'm going to continue to bring it up. You just download the Sermons 2.0 app today and you start listening and you start asking, man, Sermon Audio is the platform. You take one person using that platform. You, let's, say, you say, let's say they, got, they were able to raise $26,000 a year. That's $26,000 a year versus what the average church. You take one person, I, 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 and, I, and I, I would just challenge you, you take one person with a microphone, a computer, let's say uh, it's on the Sermons 2.0 app. They have the Church One app available to them to use, and, they, and, they, and they're given $26,000 for one year. I think you compare what that one individual, if they're dedicated, they're committed, they're ready to teach, they're ready to preach, they're ready to do devotional, they're ready to, you take what they can produce in one calendar year, one 12-month period for $26,000, and you compare it to what most churches produce in ministerial content in a calendar year. I think it would need, and then you look at the difference in 26000 versus how much it costs to maintain a church. I know, I know people get nervous. So what are you saying? You think churches should go away? I'm just saying that there's got to be a better way of, of there's got to be a, a look at what are we doing with all the money we give to all the things that we support? What are we actually, what's actually being produced? And the reason I'm raising the question is because I'm getting an email here from someone asking me for $395,000 from basically a, th- their content that they produce is nothing more than basically a 15-minute Monday through Friday edited sermon. So he's not even really producing any extra content. He preaches one sermon. It gets chopped up into little 15-minute segments and gets uh, put on a podcast and, and aired on Christian radio. And that's worth $395,000? I'm sorry. It's not. He could turn on a microphone and preach a sermon every single day. All right, we're going to stop there. I wanted this to be a little bit more fun. It really, it's not, it's not fun. It's really just now frustrating, but it had to be talked about. It had to be talked about. So we're now down to 13 hours and eight minutes and eight seconds. So I'm going to stop. All right. You can email me your thoughts, newsif at yahoo.com, newsif at yahoo.com. And let me just, I don't want anyone to misunderstand because first of all, I don't want to be called out for any kind of hypocrisy because yes, if you look, if you look on the Church One app, if you go to the Church One app and you open up the Church One app and you select Theology, Theology Central, guess what you're going to see? As soon as you open up the Church One app and you choose us, Theology Central, to the right-hand side, you're going to see a little thing that says gift, and you click on it, and guess what? It's going to open up the ability to uh, uh, to donate to us on PayPal. It is there, I, and I'm not going to, and, and there are listeners who do support us, and you know what? I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful, but at least for me, at least for me, whenever that happens, I... And maybe this is a fleshless thing. When I see the amount, I'm always like, how much ministry do I need to produce for them to make it worth that money that they gave? How much ministry do I have to produce to make it worth that much? Because if I'm not producing ministry worth the amount that they're giving, then it's not, then I, I feel like that, that that they're being ripped off. In other words, I feel like they're not, 
that something something is not right. Something is not just. The scale is unbalanced, right? That, that there's something is not right there. So, and I just think that when ministries ask for $395,000 for one month, I think it's, I think it's accurate and fair to go. What are people getting for that? And then to find out that they got ministerial content behind a paywall on top of $395,000. Something wrong. I understand ministry requires money. I wish it didn't. I wish I wish it didn't. I wish I didn't have to eat. <laughs> okay. I wish I didn't need uh I didn't need uh, a house to live in. I wish I didn't need anything. I wish all I could do is just ministry, but it, it requires things. Now, I'm thankful that the church takes care of my house. Praise God. I don't get a salary, but I'm thankful they take care of the house, which in a sense is, I guess is a salary, but I'm saying I don't get anything on top of that. I'm super gr- grateful for that. I'm grateful that they helped pay for some gasoline uh, that to help me get from my house to the church. I'm grateful. I'm grateful that I have the ability, right, to to do as much live programming and to, to produce as much ministry as possible that makes that investment hopefully worth every cent. I hope I produce enough content that they're going, man, not only are you here Sunday school, Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday, unless something happens, you're here for all of those services, plus hours and hours and hours of teaching. Other, I hope they realize, I hope they, I hope they think it's worth it. And I hope anyone who listens online goes, man, okay, I don't like him. I disagree with him. I wish he spoke better. I wish he, I, but the one thing I know, he's going to overwhelm us with the amount of content he produces. I, I, I wish that that's how ministry feels thought, but it doesn't seem to think that way. So I, I, I don't want you to think that I'm thinking it's wrong for any ministry to ask for money. I just think there's a right way to, if you need 395000 and people start giving, you give people an update saying we only need this much more. And then as soon as you reach that, you say, don't send any more because this is what we needed. That's one. Two, you, you, you make sure that the amount of ministry you are producing equals the amount of money you're getting. There's got to be some kind of correlation. What, how much ministry should be produced for $395,000? All right, email me, newsif at yahoo.com. Newsif at yahoo.com. We'll, we're probably going to have to do one more message on this. I, I'm just, I am so worried that by Monday or Tuesday, oh, no, no. He'll probably wait till about the 10th of July. I think this is. I, I think I'm starting to see their 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 method. It'll probably be what to wait. It may may wait till the end of July. It's going to be like just remember, guys. July and August is such a slow month, or slow months for giving to ministries, and it is urgent. I think I, I'm going to. I guarantee you, somewhere in July or August, I'm going to get another email doing the sa- pretty much the same concept, and they're going to completely forget that they just got three hundred ninety five thousand dollars. Maybe we'll get an update on how much money. They, they brought in. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe they'll get so much money, they'll be like, you know what, guys, we don't need any more money for six months. Well, we'll see. I, I have a feeling that that's not the case, but we'll see. All right. All right. We'll do some more live broadcasting today. I'm going to get some lunch. Then we'll do some more live broadcasting. And we got the uh, 30, uh, 30, 30, day, 30 scriptures in 30 days. We got that, or yeah, 30 days and 30 scriptures. How I, I never remember the correct way to say it. So we got that to do. We need to do a little work on the imitation of Christ by Thomas Kempis. We need to work on spiritual pride, and we need to do some things for the Bible study exercise on the doctrine of the Holy Spirit. Those are, And we do need to look at an email that I received late last night about someone saying that uh, they think there's two trends that are getting ready to come to the church. We're going to see an increase in two... Uh, very important theological views, uh, and uh, we may have to mention that. We may have to look at each of those views to get a basic concept of what they teach. So, um, yeah, we, we've we got a lot of things on the uh, agenda today. We'll see how much we can get to, and uh, hopefully uh, something we do today will be beneficial and helpful. Thanks for listening. God bless.